hi friends welcome back to angular tutorial in this video we're going to learn about one of the most important things that is how to add a condition clause in angular okay so we'll learn about ng if directive so to create any dynamic application with angular the most useful thing is if condition okay so let's see how we can use ng if in angular application so here we'll give you small example to understand it clearly okay so now you can see the text that is angular tutorial if else statement so basically this is coming from the base component that is the default component of your angular application so when you install any angular project then you will get inside the apps there is the app components okay so this is the app component css file html file and it is the spec.ts file and this is a simple ts file so here you can see the output is from app component.html file and the related TypeScript file that is the app component.ts file so this is the app component class and we can create any property of the class and we can use this from the app component html so let's go to the app component.html and here i want to create some text i am taking a p tag and inside the p tag we will write something okay suppose i am writing age is greater than 20 okay and i will add a condition on that so if the age is 20 or not so let's create a property in app component dot ts file suppose i am defining the age equal to suppose 25 okay so now uh, just add this condition into the app component dot html so right here the ng if so write in this way so star ng if so if then write the property name so here i am declaring the property is age so write the same spelling that is age so if ng if is greater than 20 then it will display okay so now if you go to the browser we can see the age is greater than 20 so now let's check so if i write the age is suppose 15 so what will be the output so if you go to the browser we cannot see any output so we need to add a else condition also so if the age is not greater than 20 then we need to add the else condition okay so when this condition will falls we will write something else so here we need to write a template so basically this is the ng template so right here ng template tag and inside the template tag we will write the else block so let's create a p tag age is not greater than 20 okay so if the if condition is false then it will call so how we call this so here we need to write the condition so we will write the else part here so just write else and we'll call the else block okay so else block so here i'm writing the else block and what will be the else block so basically this is the else block so we need to write the id that is the else block so with the use of has we will define the id that is the else block so now if you go to the browser we can see age is not greater than 20 okay so let's make age is 25 then age is greater than 20 so now we can understand how the if else block are using so here we can see this is a simple inline text suppose we have some codes that is uh, more than one line that means there are lots of code and we need to use the if else condition so how we can do this so there are another way to write a if else condition okay so now i want to show you the another way of displaying the if else condition so for now i am closing these things okay so i am just commenting out not deleting anything 
okay so now here right suppose i am creating a div okay and inside the div we will write the condition okay so here i will write the same condition that is star ng if and write the property name so here is my property name and we will provide the same condition so if the age is greater than 20 then then we write to use then okay then we'll call the if block okay and next we will write the else block okay so here we need to write else and else block okay so we need to create two ng template so just copy from this here for else part and we will write the if log that is in this way it is if log and write the condition age is greater than 20 okay so very simple so now the age is 25 so you can see the output is age is greater than 20 and now it is changed to suppose 19 or something below 20 suppose i am writing 18 then the output is age is not greater than 20 so we can see the same output inside this here also and we will get the same output here also but we can use these things for large purpose suppose there is a lots of deep there are some images there are some resources so inside this ng template section we will write everything okay so we can do it easily and this is the another approach to write if else condition nothing else okay so this is if statement and else statement so how we can write the else if statement so suppose there are multiple if else block then we need to write else if statement also so how we can do this so for this i want to create a new property okay so now i am going to create a new property suppose the property is color and i want to define the default value of this color property suppose red okay and we will use this color property in from app.compound.html so here we will create a ng template so here write ng template okay and in the ng template section we will write a condition in this way that is ng if and we will write the property name like this that is color and we will check if the color is red okay so if the color is red then it will call the red block so here i am writing a text inside the h1 so is simply red block okay so in this way we will create some others so write ng block if color is red so we'll change the letter so right here the green and here also right green and right here blue and here also write the text that is the blue and we'll create a default block so if there is not set any value for the color properties then what happen so we'll just use simply space here okay so this is the default block okay so right now the color is red there's a reason we can see the red block okay so we will change into the green so here in the app component estimate we have a green so we can see the green block and in this way if we not provide any value for color we can see the default block so we can understand how we can write the multiple if else condition also so this way we can use if condition and else if condition inside angular so this was a small video and one of the most important video you need to use these things every time so please comment if you have any queries about this video so next day 
we will learn about angular switch case so don't miss that video so this will going to be more interesting and please like and subscribe this channel for upcoming video so thanks for watching this video have a good day